they only have four shades that sounded like a crazy amazing product what is this this is not the look i was going for okay oh my goodness you're beautiful hello my loves welcome back to my channel we're back with short hair and we're back with a nike haul so nike recently had a valentine's day sale on their website and i cannot let go of a sale so i definitely made use of it and i did not go crazy guys i just picked up a few products that i really wanted to test out and try out while someone slowly climbs up on my lap here excuse me sir I also thought I can put on a face of makeup so we can kind of do a first impression. We can also have a look out of it. Three in one. Yeah, let's do this. By the way, guys, are you following me on Instagram? If you like my makeup looks, <laughs> I look five years old, don't I? If you like my makeup looks and if you'd like to see more, I definitely recommend you follow my Instagram because I have a lot more tutorials on there. So anyways, let's get on with this video. I bought three foundations, guys, because I want to try out more foundations that are available in India for my Indian girls. So the first thing that I got is the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Matte foundation and i got this in the shade cafe it looks like a pretty good match and i was so happy to see that they have so many shades of this foundation ellie girl also has another foundation but they did not have the shade that i think would suit me so i didn't pick that up then i wanted to check out on a homie brand this is an indian brand it's called bharat and doris this is the liquid foundation that is the only claim that they have and this is i believe the darkest shade this is shade number zero four they only have four shades. <laughs> Something new popped up on the Nykaa website. This is the Color Bar Skin Perfect SPF 60 foundation. That sounded like a crazy amazing product. Going into it, I knew that they wouldn't have a shade that would suit me. I think they only had like three shades or five shades. Okay, he's getting on top of the table and I want to move my glass bottle away. Like I am clumsy enough. I don't need a cat knocking things down for me. I opened this up and... <laughs> This is the darkest shade they have and they have five shades. Like are we Koreans? What is the whitest country that you know? I don't know. Like we are Indians you guys. An Indian product comes with the darkest shade. So I'm not going to talk more about this in this video because I think this deserves its own video. I have a lot, I have a lot to talk about this guys. Before I go into the other things that I got, let's decide on a foundation to apply on my face right now. So which one do we put on my face? The Bharat and Doris or the LA Girl Pro Matte? Maybe we'll ask Loki. Loki, what are we gonna use? I wish, <laughs> I wish I pointed the camera at him. He I can't even talk. He actually grabbed on this one. So we're going to go for that. Thank you so much for that Loki cutie point. Let's put this on our face. No, we're going to put it on my face. I cannot reach through the camera and put it on your face, right? Anyways, I'm going to give this a quick little shake. This comes with 30 ml. <laughs> there is literally no other claims on this bottle. There is nothing. Mattifying, long wearing, dewy, satin finish, like what? What is this? Way to reach out to the customers in today's cutthroat competitive market, Bharat and Doris. It's a little too yellow, but it's dark enough. And it smells like literal car paint, you guys. <laughs> I'm not hating on this brand. I mean, I love Indian brands and I know they are like professionals and all that, but this smells like literal car paint. Anyways, I've got my beauty blender right here. I'm gonna pounce this on my face. I had a blemish right there it covered it like medium well right you can still kind of see it peeking through oh the smell is uh, it's crazy oh my gosh i wonder what's there in this foundation i hope it doesn't break me out because i just recovering from a full face of allergy so that's kind of like a medium coverage foundation i'm gonna take another pump and try and build up the coverage i mean it's all right Yo, yo, honey, singer! Oh, you recording? <laughs> what did you think I'm doing? Alrighty, so here we are with the foundation. I'm not too mad at it. It's giving me kind of like a dewy satin finish. It's giving me medium coverage. 
For my concealer, I got the Wet n Wild Concealer Corrector. I was not sure of my shade, so I bought the last two shades. This is the Medium Deep Tan and the Dark Cocoa. The lighter shade works well for my under eyes and the darker shade works well for my hyperpigmentation. The only problem is that they have a very, very limited shade range. Not bad. What I like is it's really light in consistency. So it's not like a thick, goopy concealer, but it's giving me coverage. To set my face, I'm going to use the Sugar Loose Powder. This is not from this haul. Um, oof. This leaves a powdery cast on my face, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm just going to mist my face with a face mist. For blush, I've got two new blushes from Pack Cosmetics. So this is not from this haul, but it's something new. I wanted to try them out. This is in the shade 0 10. So I'm going to use these to give life to my... Do you see how pigmented that is? I kind of look like a scary doll right now. <laughs> okay, that's a little too pigmented. Where's my booty blender? This is not the look I was going for, okay? And now let's do a little bit of contour. But I'm not really loving the formula of these. It's kind of chalky. Next up from my haul. This is one of those items that I was most, most looking forward to. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. And she's not here to play. She means business. Oh my gosh. The shade is beautiful. The formula is beautiful. The glow is beautiful. All right. Cheeks are popping. I'm loving. Let's move on to the eyes. For eyes, what I got during the sale is the Nika K Radiant Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Hold on. Polaris Peach. Now this reminded me so much of the Huda Beauty liquid melted shadows. So I wanted to get this to see if it is similar guys and I swatched it as soon as I got it and I have to tell you that they are very very similar. So since this is just the glitter I picked up an older pack palette to just lay down the crease shades and everything. This is the last wish palette. So I'm gonna take this shade pink and pop this on my crease. I mean, it is the Valentine's Day haul and everything. Let's kind of keep it pink and cute, right? Now I'm going to take this deep rusty orange shade. And I'm going to blow out that pink. Oof, it's so pigmented that it covered off my pink. I'm going to go back with the pink soon. Now I'm going to take this really deep chocolate shade right here and deepen up my outer V and crease. It's been a long time since I did like a deeper smoky eye like this and I feel like the glitter we have really deserves to have like a dark smoky outer corner. So let's do that. I'm now gonna prep this empty space using the white eyeshadow right here with my finger. Okay guys, now it's time for the glitter. I'll be ready. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is exquisite, mind blowing. A dupe for a lot of beauty. You're beautiful. Yes, you. For the lips, you guys, I got the color bar Mat Me As I Am. This was like a new launch. They had huge banners on Nika. It sucked me right into it. I didn't know what color to get. So I got the color, I believe it's called Tricky or Trippy. Err. It's just trick. Zero, zero, three. When I opened this, it actually came with a little sharpener that you can pop on at the end of your pencil, which I think is so convenient. You know, there's no cross-contamination. You don't get kajal on your lip liner and stuff. <laughs> Nobody wants that. You'd expect like a berry perfume in it, but there is no smell. Mm, very creamy. Ooh. I like. I like. You know what? I feel like the crease needs a little bit more definition. So I'm going to go back to that palette. I'm going to take that. Uh, let's take this mauve dark purpley shade. And just define that crease just a bit. Yeah. See, that looks better than that, right? Yeah. Oh, I got, I got a little bit of charcoal on my glitter. Oh, no. Why am I ruining this? Oh, no. <laughs> mayday, mayday. Using the disastrous wet n wild eyebrow pencil that I showed in my previous Nika video. <laughs> Have you seen that? I'm using it because I bought it, you know. I don't like wasting, like what do you do with it? 
fill in your bald spots maybe i can do that this look needs a simple little eyeliner flicky thing and mascara so i'll apply that and be right back and there we have it guys here we have our final look i'm quite impressed i was not going for a pinky flirty glittery valentine c look but that's what we have on our face i absolutely love this i love these concealers the foundation is not bad it's really not bad this this i think is a star of this look i mean look at that cheek anyways you guys you tell me now what is the favorite product that i got have you tried it do you recommend it are you going to buy it take a screenshot of that product from this video post it on your ig stories tag me and i shall repost you in my ig stories i love doing that so that's it for this haul let me know what your recent makeup purchases were all the videos right down below and i shall see you in my next one thank you so much for joining me guys if this is the first time you're watching me by the way click that subscribe button yeah It's harmless. It's a harmless little button, I tell you. Anyways, <laughs> I shall see you later.